Oh my god. Once again, they nailed the black market stuff. I love everything they've brought so far, especially the Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 calling cards, and also the return of some old friends. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to show you the Marshall 18. It's basically a two-shell shotgun pistol. It only hurts two shells, obviously I just said that. But it's pretty neat. I like it. It's, uh, it's a pretty good weapon, actually. I really like it. Uh, it's pretty easy to get kills with, uh, close range, but it's far. I mean, obviously it's not going to reach as far. It's pretty easy to use, and other than that, it's it's a really nice gun. Now we have the NX Shadow Claw. This is basically the crossbow returning back, but without the explosive damage. Uh, obviously, they wouldn't have explosive damage because of the sparrow, and it would kind of just take the use of it away. This is really cool because you can have freaking dual wield, or you can have a bayonet on it. It's a really nice uh, secondary weapon. The only thing about it is it doesn't have long range, just as the Marshall 18 as well. Either of the, um, basically all the secondaries don't have the long range whatsoever, which I wish they did, but whatever. So now I got some bayonet right here. Shows me getting a couple kills with the bayonet on the NX. Uh, I'm pr I'm pretty positive the MX Grand, which is the other weapon, it has the bayonet as well, but we didn't get the chance to play with it yet. I may bring that gameplay later on if we figured out how to use it without unlocking it. We actually unlocked these two weapons. I have the Marshall 18 if you actually want to see real gameplay of that. And Shadow actually has the uh, the NX Shadow Claw, which, I mean, this is the only gameplay I can show of that because it's not mine, but it's his. But these are the only weapons we've got so far. Uh, we just started playing about two hours ago, and uh, he bought COD points, and I haven't bought any COD points so far. I'm really thinking about it to be honest because I really want that awesome uh, sword. The sword's called, uh, I'm pretty sure, something song. Uh, Fury Song. Fury Song is what the sword's called, I'm almost positive. And they also got the crowbar, which is called Iron Gem. Uh, I'll be showing these pictures in a second. But, uh, I mean, it's. I like uh, the new suits. I got a couple of new suits. Uh, there's also a bunch of new camos. The uh, shadows been seeing that they have all kinds of like Piker Punch camos from zombies. They have calling cards from Black Ops One and Two. Uh, it's it's really cool. I really like this black market uh, setup. What they need to do though is they need to have like their own separate cases so you kind of know what you're gonna get. And kind of like CS:GO in a certain extent, where it actually shows you what you're gonna unlock. You know. Because I mean, the chances of getting one of these weapons is really crazy. It's, I mean, the fact that we've seen so many people open these uh, COD point uh, supply drop openings on YouTube and they don't even get a single thing. Pretty sure Ali had a live stream not too long ago and he didn't get jack. Uh, he opened like 50,000 or something like that and he spent 90 pounds on it. And I'm pretty sure that's a little bit more money than dollars, like US dollars. I'm not sure. But it's pretty crazy. Oh, uh, so I'm about to show you the pictures of all the weapons. So now I'm going to show you all the weapons. Uh, so first we got the Fury Song, which is the sword. Then we have the Crowbar, which is Iron Gem. Then we have the weapon that I've got is the Marshall 16. My bad, I said Marshall 18 earlier. Uh, so I'm about to... I didn't know that there was an actual assault rifle. And it's basically they're bringing back the M1 Garand. One of my buddies pointed out, I was like, no, you're lying. They did not bring another assault rifle, but they actually do. I'm about to show it to you right now in a second because uh, I was just wanting to make sure that I was able to get it. And fortunately, I was never able to do this. Basically, if you didn't know, when the butterfly, the wrench, and all that stuff dropped last time, you were able to go to your item bans and restrictions, and you are able to ban everything besides those weapons. Now right here is the M1 Garand, or the MX Garand, however you want to call it. I'm going to call it the M1 Garand, because that's how I know and to love it from World at War and all those old Call of Duty games, Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3. I and, uh, I mean, it's just so awesome that they're bringing back these old weapons. Uh, I really want them to bring the MP7 back. That'd be pretty sweet if they brought the MP7 back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome video. And I'll see you guys later.